Implementing local what? Implementing what? Local what? Implementing local storage. Now, the first, uh, we, we have about um, three exercises. We're going to install and configure a new disk. We're going to resize a volume. And we're going to configure a redundant storage space. So those are three, uh, three uh, labs we're going to be doing. Now, what we're going to do is, um, in the first exercise, you said we should install and configure a new disk. Is that not correct? OK, to do that, uh, we're asked to install this disk on, um, we're asked to use uh, disk 2. Is that not correct? We're asked to use uh, disk 2 to set up that disk. We we'll actually use this too. So, the task is to initialize a new disk, create and format two simple volumes, and verify that the drive letters are in the Windows uh, File Explorer. Is that not correct? So, we we'll actually use this too. So, the first thing I need to do is to right click on my start menu. I go to disk what? Management. Of course, you can see the wizard pops up immediately. Is that not correct? Now, it's asking me to initialize all the disk. Um, actually, I'm going to only initialize disk 2. So I'm going to check every disk. Uh, I'm going to check all the disk. OK, let me, let me cancel this. So it's going to be sure. That's my disk 2 there. So it's actually offline. So I'm going to put it online. Are we together? Yeah. Actually, I've actually initialized it before. So that's why it was offline, because I deleted the volume. OK. Now we actually use disk 2. Are we together? Yeah. Remember, I didn't initialize any other disk apart from disk 2. OK? So don't make that mistake. Now, the next step is to uh, configure the disk to use um, uh, GPT. So actually, you notice uh, my disk is currently on GPT. If I go to the property, if you notice on the volumes, it says good partition table. Is that not correct? So actually, it's currently on GPT. That is why when I right click, it actually shows me what converts to master boot record. Is that not correct? OK. Now, let's go to, that is done. Let's go to tax 2, creates two simple volumes using disk 2. So to create a simple volume, we're asked to create a simple volume for uh, the, the amount of gig we have is 6 gig. Is that not correct? Yeah. So we're asked to create, um, we're asked to create 400 megabytes and what? 500 megabytes. Uh, that is 4 gig and 4, meaning it's 4 gig and 5 gig. It's not, it's not enough, right? We took it down, so um, we'll make it. Um, it's 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 three gig that is uh, what do you call it? It's six gig that's there, right? Yeah. So we'll make it uh, three 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 two. Huh? Okay. Okay. So on the first uh, volume, which is um, drive F, we're going to make it as uh, three hundred. Okay. So I'm going to right click. Three thousand. Sorry. Yeah. The simple volume. So I'm going to type 3,000 there. Click Next. We'll ask to give you drive what? F. So I'll go to F later. Next. And it should be NTFS. And the name of the volume should be volume what? Volume 1. So I'm going to accept all defaults. Next. And I'm going to click Finish. And that is set up. The next is to create another simple volume and we should call it G right so I'm gonna right click now I'm gonna say new simple volume next or uh, you can leave the defaults you can leave the, you can leave the defaults and uh, we'll call it G the letter G next and we're we'll actually use RFS is that not correct and we should call it volume what <coughs> volume what so you notice on RFS, you don't see the compression technology there, right? OK. We'll click Finish. And guys, that's it. 
So we've, 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 we've done with that uh, first task. Now the second task is to verify if the volumes do exist on the system. Now if I go to file, Windows uh, Explorer, if I come to my drive C, I can verify that those two volumes are there. Is that not correct? You know, it's very important that you always do these things. You know, I, I keep saying this every time. Whenever I ask you guys to uh, create a volume, when you finish a task, go and verify that that which you have created is exactly that what it is. If it's not, they go and do the correction as soon as possible. Not when it's almost, you, you're actually five minutes um, uh, to finish or it's five minutes time, uh, you only have five minutes left for the, for the exam to end. That is when you realize, oh, it was a mistake. Then you start fixing it. Then when I say stop, you say, oh, Mr. Sama, I was trying to refix the stuff. It doesn't work like that. Are we together? Okay, uh, we're asked to create a folder name code for the one in volume two. So can we open and we right click and we say new folder and we call it folder what? Folder two. Sorry, folder one. Call it folder one. So that's it. And okay, that's creating a simple volume on Windows Server 2012, converting, initializing the disk, converting it to good partition table, uh, creating simple volume, partition them with file system, and verifying the volume. So that is that is sorted, huh? So take note of that. So the next step we're gonna do. Okay, now let's go to the disk management. <clears throat> we'll expand it. Um, of course, it still brings up the same wizard, right? So I'm just going to cancel, okay? Because I'm not initializing any disk. Because remember, I want to use those disks for something else. Okay, we're going to resize the volume. We have uh, three gig in each volume. Is that not correct? Uh, so on the first uh, volume F, we'll convert, we'll resize volume. We're going to shrink volume F. And we're going to extend, we're going to shrink volume F, and we're going to extend volume 2. Are we together? So let's shrink. Right click on volume F, and you see the option that says shrink volume. Is that not correct? So click shrink volume. Now just accept the defaults. You see, it says the amount that is given is 1,000 and what? 92 watts. 926 okay so let's click on shrink and that's it there we have 188 is that not correct now in um, touch 2 we're asked to extend the volume of what of G right and we're asked to extend it to 1000 megabytes is that not correct so let's click on volume 2 right click and say what extend what the volume we'll click next and we are on this two. Is that not correct? Remember, what was available was one nine two six. Is that not correct? So we're going to click on one thousand. Are we following? We need to take one thousand. One thousand, yeah, because we're following that on the manual, huh? So we we'll click next, and we're going to click on what? Finish. Now, if you notice there, something comes up. It says um, the operation you selected will convert the basic disks to what? Dynamics is if you want to convert it to dynamic, if not enabled on the system, and of course, are you sure you want to continue? The question is what? The question is what? So the answer is yes. Are we following? Yes. And do we have our extended volume? Yeah, but you notice now on the system, it only shows us we have three volumes. Is that not correct? But on the computer, we still we're left with how many volumes? Two volumes. Is that not correct? Yes. Now let's go to our drive C now. Let's go to our Windows Explorer to confirm. We can confirm we have how many gig here? Four gig. But if you notice here, if you refresh, it's not showing what how many gig now? Four gig. Is that not correct? And if we confirm, if you open it. The folder we created also as well is still there. Nothing is affected. Are we together? Huh? That is extending the volume from another what? Partition. 
because we had two partitions, right? Which we shrinked from uh, 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 volume one, took space from volume one, added it store to what volume two. So even though you have most, even though you have files there, it will still be there. It's just that the space will be extended. So it's important that there must be an allocated space. All allocated space, yes. Before, before you can extend, it can be allocated from any type of volume. It can be from a. If you notice there. When we said extended, we could see the other volumes that were also listed there. Is that not correct? Yeah. So I could take from any of the other volumes as well. Okay. Yes. Yeah.